Intel Battle Mage is still happening, and we can thank Linux for telling us. Long ago, in the forgotten era of 2022, Intel released not their first discrete GPUs, because they actually have done some in the past, like with the i740 back in the 90s, but in modern history, Intel hasn't really been known as a GPU company. They've been doing things in the CPU space. Now, a lot of people were using Intel GPUs in what is commonly referred to as an APU, a CPU with a GPU glued on. But in 2022, we saw the release of the Intel Arc discrete GPUs to what I wouldn't say is a lot of excitement. I would say it's more like interest. It certainly got a lot of tech coverage because it's a new competitor in this space. We had NVIDIA and AMD for so long and nobody else. And then all of a sudden, Intel's here and Intel is a massive company and could theoretically compete in this space. But with the release, it's not exactly what we saw happen. Due to performance, stability, price to performance, power consumption, and just general market dominance of both AMD and especially Nvidia, it certainly saw a niche group of users that were buying up these cards, but it wasn't really a crazy adoption, and I don't think anybody really expected there to be such a massive adoption especially with one of its major features, AV1 encoding, not really being that major of a feature because Twitch didn't support AV1 yet and is only just supporting it as of this year. Now, it's great that AV1 is actually supported. The problem is it's not a GPU selling point anymore because every new GPU also supports AV1. Now, since the beginning, we've known how Intel is going to name these cards. Our first generation was Alchemist, second generation is B, this is Battle Mage, then C, this is Celestial, then D, this is Druid, so on and so forth. But Intel hasn't really said that much about what Battle Mage was going to be. Basically, all we have at this point is rumors and leaks. Intel's progress with Battle Mage is rumoured to be sluggish, and second-gen Arc GPUs may not arrive until 2025. If at all, a YouTube leaker. <laughs> Your source is some dude on YouTube. Intel Battle Mage. What can we expect to see with the second generation of Arc GPUs? Picking through rumours and leaks. And that's basically all we had. We didn't have anything seriously concrete about this GPU even being a real thing. Maybe not in everything they do, but in the places they are, Intel has been quite supportive of open source development. And when they're getting ready to release a product, maybe in the next six months or maybe the next year, they end up shipping drivers in the Linux kernel. And turns out that all of the code and all of the discussion in the Linux kernel is done completely publicly. Enable display support for Battle Mage. This is a 19 piece patch set from an Intel developer. And it doesn't really tell us that much about what the card is going to do. A lot of this is just get the driver working. But it does tell us a little bit. So one thing that we already knew is it being based on the XC2 platform. That's not really that big of a deal. We've known that since the start. One thing we can say about the card though, is removed UHBR20 support, and then down here, set maximum DP rate to UHBR13.5. So this is known as ultra high bit rate. And as connector standards like to be, they like to be very, very confusing and not give different proper names to things that are completely different standards. With UHBR20, you have 20 gigabit per second per lane. 13.5 is 13.5 gigabit, and then 10 is 10 gigabit. And as of the DisplayPort 2.0 standard, all three of these are valid DisplayPort 2.0. This is what I mean that I hate connector standards, and all of these should be completely different things to make it completely clear, but... I hate tech sometimes.
Look at this. You need a table to understand what the different speeds of the different cables are. This is stupid. Stop doing this. Come up with a better solution. Now, putting that aside, even at 13.5, it is still much better than what was supported on the original Alchemist cards. These were 1.4a DisplayPort 2.1010G ready, which is... Once again, I hate it. I really hate it. The point is that unless you are driving just ridiculous setups at UHBR 13.5, you're going to be perfectly fine. Unless you're doing things like splitting it into connecting into a bunch of different displays or running crazy high resolution, crazy high refresh rate, it'll be okay. For context, this is still enough for 8K 144Hz. And I don't know about you, but I'm certainly not doing that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there isn't really much else we can piece from this. It's just generally supporting the card. One thing I do want to stress is just because a driver is being improved in the Linux kernel, this does not guarantee that the hardware will actually materialize. As I said, Intel is very good at getting drivers into the kernel early, sometimes so early that the product never actually launches and the drivers are just there, not really doing much. Here is a good example of this. How many of you have heard of the Intel Carrillo Ranch platform? Unless you've seen my video or the Pharonix article, the answer is probably not many of you because this didn't launch, or at least no one's convinced that it launched. This is a product from 2007 that there was a driver in the kernel for that no one can find anything about. No one knows what it is. There is some speculation that maybe it was used in scanners and printers, but that's pretty much just speculation and nobody is absolutely certain. And we assume it's probably a CPU platform. Maybe, but I don't know. No one even knows if this ever existed. That is not to say the same is absolutely going to happen to Battle Mage. But just keep in mind that a driver does not mean you'll ever actually see it. Assuming it does launch, right now all we have is like leaks and speculation about when the date is going to be. The general estimates right now are something like late 2024, maybe something around Black Friday, or maybe early 2025. Personally, I'm very interested to see what happens with this second generation, if they address the problems with the first, and what price to performance is really going to be like. I don't need a new GPU in my main system. I bought a 6750XT not that long ago, and it's doing fine. But I have wanted to do a capture PC for a long time. So, I don't know, maybe depending on what, like, the lower tier is like, as just, like, a capture GPU, I don't know, it might be tempting. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on it, and I recommend that you all do the same. I do hope they have a much bigger splash this time, because I genuinely do want there to be an actual third competitor in this space, and maybe put a little bit of pressure on both AMD and NVIDIA. But let me know your thoughts down below. Are you going to buy Battle Mage? Are you going to wait and see what it's like, or is it a guaranteed purchase? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, leave bear pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I've been saying I'll do the Capture PC thing for a long time. Look. Look. <laughs>